We stream live on Facebook, and we got our mailbox. The mailman came right after this. Welcome back, everybody. I don't know why that makes me laugh, watching myself on TV. What a silly boy. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Guys in the Garden, I'm Guy. It's our second hour. We got lots of great things. You know, we stream live on Facebook, as I was saying. So uh, we, we asked for your comments. And hey, Guy. Yes? You've got mail. I appreciate that. We got mail, and it's from you. So let's see what you're saying to me today. All right. Excuse my, uh, I got my glasses on. Thank goodness. Terry's with us, and she says, oh my gosh, check out the hummingbird and butterfly. We got Joe with us. Uh, Joe's happy to be here. Deanne is with us again today. Uh, everybody is here. Um, they just laughed at my cocoon joke about the giant uh, watermelon, which I think is great. But anyway, we love your comments. If you have any questions or all about any of the things that we show or any growing tips that you're looking for, because Rochelle Grayer is going to be joining us in just a bit, and she's our gardening expert. She's Skyping from Boston uh, with everything that's going on. We thought it'd be best if she stayed there and, and just uh, basically uh, phoned in for so she's going to be here in just a sec. Continue to uh, shop with us online. Continue to send your comments in. Can I promo something in this hour? Is that all right? Thank you, Lindsay. <clears throat> this is my pick of the shell. Remember, we were just talking about the pruner, right? Well, pruner is great for little one-inch sticks and branches that you're trimming way up high. But if you need to get the big sticks down, and I'm talking the big, heavy hanging branches, you need a pole saw. This tool is amazing. I've had my pole saw for almost three years. Mine is corded, and this is from Sunjo. This is the cordless one. What that means is, guess what? Battery powered so you never have to worry about where you go and how close you are to an outlet. It's got enough power to cut through anything. It is only $79 normally. The cordless tools are so much more expensive than all of the other um, uh, ones that you buy. Our cordless model is only 79, full power, eight inch bar and chain. Uh, you've got an extender on this so you can go about uh, eight feet longer than you normally could go with a regular pole saw. And no gas, no oil, no smoke, no fumes, and very little noise. That's my pick of the show. At that price, get rid of those frozen branches that have been hanging over your, uh, over your driveway and over your carport. It's a great way to be able to do it. But, we are going to start with flowers. We have three different uh, uh, items today, including that amazing grafted tomato plant. That's my pick of the plants today because I love me some dang tomatoes out of the garden because it's the, one of the few things that when you grow it at home, it is always better than the store, right? You know tomatoes, right? Fresh tomatoes. That's coming up in a bit. But first, let me introduce you to Rochelle Grayer. She's our gardener extraordinaire. Hi, Hi Rochelle. Good to see you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're so happy to have you with us. Uh, our, uh, Rochelle is our garden expert. She's going to help you with all kinds of great things. If you have any questions or comments for her, she'll, uh, she'll tell you about it. But Rochelle, we're going to start with our sun-loving impatience. We, I haven't, we haven't presented these, at least I haven't yet, this year. No, no, we didn't do this since last year, actually, and they right. were they were really popular then, so I'm glad we have them back again. Yeah, we have them. They're only $19.95. You're going to get three different varieties. You're going to get the flame, the lavender, and the rose. These are uh, spring bloomers, and they bloom through summer all the way through frost. Um, mm -hmm. They're very, very hardy. They're vigorous. Well, you know impatience. They're wonderful. Great ground cover. Tell us a little bit about our impatience, Rochelle. Well, Guy, I just, um, I was watching you and Carrie on earlier with the um, fertilizer and that favorite picture of yours, that's impatience. That's what that is. Yeah. And, and that's what you're going to get with these, um, these just big, beautiful mounds of flowers. And what's really great about this, this is what you're going to get in the mail. You're going to get three of these. I've got, I've got them here. I can't hold all three, but this is the size that they come. So this is about a two and a half inch pot but you've got the, the full grown ones there and that's one season's growth. These are annuals. So you're gonna put these in now when they arrive and then you're gonna have mounds like you see there on the set um, by midsummer. They, they just, they get huge fast and they just keep throwing out the flowers all the way until frost. They're fantastic. Um, but what's special about these, these are what, this, these ones are particularly good. Um, you used to see these in just the shade this was a real popular uh, plant for getting color 
in a shady area of your yard. Uh, but these, these are called sun patients. And the reason we call them sun patients is because they've been bred to be more tolerant of the sun. So, so long as you keep them nice and watered, these aren't going to wilt or get powdery mildew or anything like that, like some of those older varieties that yeah. a lot of people are more familiar with. These are really tough and they can take that sun. So that's what's exciting is then you can continue that big, beautiful swath of blooms, yeah. the shade into, you know, the sunny yeah. part of the uh, garden. Everybody take a look because as Rochelle just said, this is first season. Okay, a lot of yeah. times when you, when you get, um, you know, uh, plants, you have to wait season after season after season before they really sort of come into fruition. These are all at their full bloom. Look at how beautiful. And when you order today, you get each variety, each color, the brilliant coral, that great orange and red. You get that beautiful kind of a purple color. Rochelle, let me ask you a question. Are these good for beginners? Yes. Oh my gosh. These are like, so I used to uh, do commercial plants for commercial properties. And, and one of the things we would focus on is plants that were tough and easy because we would be dealing with who knows uh you know kind of maintaining them so um this was this was this was one of our standards we we would just use this over and over and over again for that wow factor whenever we needed you know color and and you know something eye-catching they're great around your foundation they're great under a tree they're great like that in pots i um these are going to get fairly substantial. Uh, they are annuals. So all the growth that you are seeing is the first year. That's They grow from, you know, these little pots that you'll receive in the mail. Put them either in a bigger pot. You got to give them more uh, root area. Yeah. Or in the ground, either one. I like them in pots, like flanking a door sure, or front sure. door or a gate or mm -hmm. on your patio. Uh, they're great in the shade. They're great in the sun. So yeah, those are that's a that's a pretty big difference right there. Yeah, and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get three of these when you order. All right, they're already uh, well on their way. This is in four to six weeks. <laughs> Look yeah. at this. This is yeah. now in four to six weeks. So when we talk about crazy, crazy growers, these impatients are going to go really fast. So be prepared. So you'll have three of these in the separate colors in, in about four or five weeks. When you order it, you're going to get three of these plants. I've already ordered, and they come boxed, and they're laying down. They're all per perfectly protected. When you get them out, you want to get them out of these relatively soon. And let's explain, Kevin, can we pull up our map really quick? So let me tell you about the map. And Rochelle, just bear with me for one second. I'm going to yep. tell everybody about that, and then I'm going to have you explain the pamphlet they get. So yep. here's the map. How do we know when to deliver to you? Well, we know where you live because you've ordered with us. So if you live in the northern part of the country, you're going to get your plants and flowers in April, May, as you can see where the pink part is. You get into the, to the blue in the middle and some of the darker green, you're going to get those in mid-April. Okay, so if you're a Chicago person, you're going to get it around then. If you are in the lower half of the country in the southern part of Texas or Florida or California, you'll get them already. They'll be directly yeah. shipped to you because the weather is, always, is already good yeah. there. The one thing to note, though, Guy, these are the annuals. So they do ship two weeks later than these okay. days. So, yeah, perennials versus annuals. And that's just because, uh, you know, with Leap and Petal, we're really, we pick plants that are going to make you look good as a gardener. They're easy to grow. And so, and we're trying to help you grow them well. So one of the ways we do that is ship them, like you said, when they're ready to be put into the ground. So with annuals, they're just a little more tender and they need that little bit of extra time just to make sure that you're not going to get something that's going to get um, basically cold cold snapped um, if, if we have a late frost, which inevitably we do. So, uh, but what I want to point out to you is our brochure. This is what you're going to get in every box. This is a three fold out thing. This gives you all kinds of instructions on how to plant, where to plant, how to take care of everything. And then back here on the back is how you get in touch with us at Leaf and Petal. What's so great about what we're doing here at Leaf and Petal is that we have expert gardeners and professionals and people who know all everything there is to know about our plants and the things that could potentially uh, harm them or or that uh, pests or whatever struggles you might have with these plants you can call our 1-800 number right down here and uh, talk to our professionals if you need to anything you want to know they're going to help you out plus if there's any problem all of our annuals come with a 90-day guarantee so that's going to get you right yeah. the way through the whole season really yeah. like if anything goes wrong you've got that guarantee just call the number and they will 
either help you uh, fix the problem with your plant love it. or they'll love replace it. it. It's, All right. it's a great guarantee. I love these. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to get to these tomatoes. But we're going to wait a little bit longer because we do have one more plant before we get there. But if you would like to get these, great way for people that are just starting out in gardening and patients are so easy. Remember, these are annuals. You get them. They start growing quickly. They'll come to fruition uh, within about a month or so. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, look at these gorgeous, gorgeous plants. 695675 is the item number there if you'd like to pick them up. Hey, by the way, uh, at hsn.com, we have our home checklist. We know there's a lot of things you may need right now in this tough time. Uh, it could be cleaners, it could be a vacuum, whatever it is. Uh, maybe you need a phone, our best value of the day. Whatever it is, we have things available on our home checklist. Um, all kinds of great products. Wonderful thing about it is we will ship them to you without any cost to you. So there's no shipping charge on these items. Get them to you so you're good to go and you have everything you need, soaps, whatever. Please check hsn.com. I know going to the stores are real pain in the neck sometimes uh, and, and, and a little scary. So you can shop our store and have the stuff delivered right to your front door. All right, let's talk Menarda. Now this was introduced to me uh, in our one of our first shows. And I gotta tell you, for, for as far as color is concerned, you get so much bang for your buck. Rochelle, these are beautiful. You're gonna get two what they call tri-color Menardas. They have this beautiful sort of a citrusy scent. Hummingbirds flip out over Menarda. They love these to death. They flower early and longer than ordinary Menardas because of the rootstock that we have. $24.50 for two, go Rochelle. Oh, these are my favorites. I grow so many of these in my garden. And I, what I don't grow is these at the moment. I'm, I'm so excited. I've got my own right here, ready to go for this season. Uh, by the way, these are really big plants that we're shipping to you. They're probably, what, three or four times size of the impatience that I just showed you a minute yeah. ago. And part of the reason for that is because... Okay. That happens. We're Skyping with Rochelle, so if we lose her from time to time, no worries, but I'll pick up where she left off. Look at the size of this. This is exactly what you're gonna get when you order times two. So they are already well on their way. When you pop this into the ground, and I, I, I gotta tell you, you know, it's amazing because I put my, my tomatoes in about eight days ago. You know my tomatoes have tripled in size in like eight to nine wow. days. I, I, plants are so ready right now, depending on where you live to go in. But anyway, do we have, oh, we got you back. Here you go. Continue yeah, on. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, so um, anyway, yeah, what I was saying is that there are actually three plants in there. That's how you're getting all three of those colors. Yeah. So uh, you don't want to separate them because you want them to grow together like we've grown them for you. So you get all yeah. three colors. But um, the thing that I love about this, this is one of those plants that really uh, kind of personifies gardening to me. I, I like to spend time in my garden because it's... It makes me calmer, it's stress reducing, it makes me feel like I'm doing something healthy out in the sun. This is like that fifth sensation because these smell so great and they're these earthy, um, oh. gosh, they're just, they smell like a spa. And I, I love yes. having them in the garden because they really put out that perfume that really kind of just feeds my soul when oh I'm, my God. Uh, and the, I'm outside. So the, the greenery, when you take a little of the greenery and rub it in your hands too, it's got that, like you said, it smells, it almost has that sagey, you know what I mean? That, that spa CG kind of... Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then yeah. when you combine that with the citrus flowers, yes. there's no wonder that hummingbirds and, 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 and butterflies love these things. Yes, yes. And you know what else is really cool about these? Up here in Boston, this is one of my favorite Monarda stories. So um, we know this plant is Monarda, but we also know it as bergamot. So uh, up here... We had the whole Boston Tea Party thing when we uh, Bostonians threw all the tea from England into the harbor, and we didn't have any tea anymore in America. And so what they replaced it with was something called Oswego tea. If you study history, you might have read about Oswego tea. Yeah. Oswego tea is the leaves of this, this <laughs> plant. So if you want to make your own, you know, historic tea, uh, all you have to do is really pull those leaves off. And I mean, you can smell them right there. You, you can understand why they're so lovely in a tea. I mean, you can uh, brew them even as fresh leaf Look or dry it. them if you want. And they're, they're fantastic. They I, really are. I just picked this one off because these are live. I just picked this off. And if you rub it in your fingers and then, oh my gosh, I can, I can see why people would make tea out of that. It's so nourishing. Oh, like, wow. Lots of people use it for lots of kind of uh, ailments. It's a very nourishing tea. So uh, these are perennials though. So these are gonna come with that one year guarantee. Um, again, with the brochure, 
and our contact details if you have any problems with them. But one year you're gonna have on the guarantee for these because these are gonna come back for you year in and year out. The plants are gonna get even bigger. They're gonna, they spread kind of a little bit slowly. They're not, they're not huge aggressive spreaders, but they are going to spread a little bit and give you uh, more and more plants over the years. And, 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 and this, I mean, these colors are just gorgeous. And the oh bees gosh. and the butterflies, they just, yeah. Love it. They're very, it's they're very fine. unique combination of colors. Really appealing. And remember, you're going to get the scent from not only the flowers but from uh, the leaves as well. Twenty-four dollars and fifty cents. Six nine five seven seven four. I've been chomping at the bit for the tomatoes, so we're going to move on. Rochelle, give me one sec. We're talking about um, our leaf and petal um, uh, food concentrate. Can you talk about that for a second? Is she, is she still there? Do we lose her? Okay. No, no worries, no worries. Okay. Hey, Rochelle, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I can How tell important you about is it. this? So we got plant food that we're just going to talk about for 30 seconds. Yeah, so this is a really great plant food that we offer with Leaf and Petal. Uh, I like to use it probably every week or every other week, depending. You could actually use this every time you water your plants, but they come in these like fantastic, it's like the little Tide Pods or, uh, or dishwasher pods. And all you have to do is just put one of those pods in a gallon jug of water, easy. let it dissolve, and water your plants with it. It's so easy ah, and, and perfectly love, We love easy. Mixed. We love easy. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I have some of your other plant food I've tried before. I love it. It's very, very easy because I can never read the back of the label to try to measure, so that makes it real, real simple. All right. We have something very special. Um, if you are frustrated, maybe with your garden, you tried to grow tomatoes before, and maybe it's been a challenge. It was for me originally. Now I'm having success since I started uh, getting stuff from Leaf and Petal. This is our Berkeley tie-dye grafted tomato. The first ever grafted tomatoes that we've carried. You want to get something that supercharges your rootstock for your tomatoes. You need to try grafted. Juicy, delicious, four times the size. The yield is incredible. They're Hardy, they're strong. They are unbelievable. And the only question I have for you, Rochelle, it says, I think, do we have two varieties? Because I've got Berkeley or Delicious on my card. Yeah, we do have okay. two varieties. So we do have either, either you go, so take us first through the Berkeley tomato and then yeah. take us through the other and then tell us, first maybe tell us why is grafting so important to the growth and success of these tomatoes? Yeah, so here's the difference. Um, when you grow an heirloom tomato, the entire plant is that heirloom tomato. So these are old varieties that have been grown year in and year out. The seeds have been saved and they are seed grown for you. Whereas a grafted tomato takes the root stock of a much more uh, healthy and strong disease resistant, temperature resistant, pest resistant, plant and then we graft the heirloom tomato on the top so when you get this plant you're going to see here let me grab mine here you're going to be able to see down at the bottom it's kind of hard to see through here but you can see this dis different colored area where the plant was actually grafted onto the rootstock so what you're getting here is this like super powered rootstock with the heirloom tomato on top. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So having like the modern technology of plant breeders with the heirloom taste and enjoyment of these varieties of tomatoes that we've known and loved for years. So the two varieties that you, we have, we have the, uh, the Berkeley tie-dye, which is uh, known as a very sweet tomato. That's and this it's one. kind of striped and yeah, it has all these different colors in it. It's very cool. And then the other one is uh, the, the, the the delicious tomato, which is more of your classic like beefsteak tomato wow. that is going to be huge actually. So with the grafted uh, with the grafted tomatoes, what you're going to get though is um, so we we have our other tomato offer, which is fantastic. You get three plants. This one you're only getting one plant, and the reason you're only getting one plant is because honestly you're gonna get three times to maybe even four times the the size of this plant yeah. is gonna get enormous. Uh, you will have to stake this plant. You will want to put this in a substantial pot because this will get very, very big. Uh, I'm talking five plus, maybe even as if you grow it well, 10 feet tall. Um, and it'll be covered in tomatoes. You'll get three to four times as many tomatoes. And that's all down to this root stock that is um, so supercharged. So, um, the, the reason why we, we breed these, though, is because 
there are a lot of areas of the country that have a real hard time with tomatoes. And the reason that you might have a hard time is if you live in a really hot area, an area that's prone to blight, uh, tomato blight, then you're going to uh, need a tomato that has been bred with that rootstock that can uh, resist those things, the yeah. heat and blight. The other is that if you live in an area, so that's, that tends to be a lot of the southern areas and, and, and really throughout the country. But the other reason is these come big. I mean, these are big old plants already. Yeah. This thing is like um, having a hard time fitting it all on the screen at once, like 18, 20, oh, it's almost yeah. two feet tall. Here's mine. Um, yeah, can, yeah see, look at how big this one is. It's already got, out. and it's already got flowers on it. Exactly. So these are going to give you the first tomato in your neighborhood without question. They're also going to give you so many. But if you live in an area where the growing season is short, so way up north or maybe at a higher elevation, those are areas where you can also sometimes struggle to grow a plant like tomatoes because uh, traditionally, tomatoes need a longer growing season to put out the fruit and really get going in the season. But because we've done this like supercharged grafted rootstock and we're sending them to you at such a size already, you're going to be getting that tomato early, fast, and then yeah. you'll, you'll be able to get it in if you have that short growing season. So this is a real problem oh, solver. Yeah. So really quick, so everybody understands, this is the delicious, think like red delicious, right? Like the apple. And this uh -huh. is the Berkeley tie dye right here in this hand. I, you know what I love about these tomatoes? I love that they almost, they almost look like a pumpkin, don't they? The way that they, the yeah. way that they grow, they're like yeah. bursting with flavor. And if you get, if you get the, remember the grafted one is the one that's more resistant. It's going to give you bigger, bolder uh, fruits, sweeter. Look at the size of these. These are the ones you want to cut. You know, my, my, my dad used to love to just make, you know what he'd make? He had lettuce in his garden, his tomatoes. He'd make a lettuce and tomato sandwich. He'd love it. Yeah. He'd, put, he'd, put, he'd slap some Miracle Whip on it. Be, he would make a sandwich. And all you need is this. If you're a vegetarian, you're perfect. I'd slap, you know, a bunch of ham on there too and cheese and all that stuff. But having these come out of your own garden is, I mean, Rochelle, it's such a special feeling, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is. I, there is nothing more satisfying than walking outside your back door into your garden and coming in with food to eat. And not only that, tomatoes, I mean, they taste a thousand times better. If you've never tried a tomato that has been warmed by the sun and you eat it while it's still in that warm sort of, it just kicks off even more flavor than a regular tomato. I, I mean, truly grocery store tomatoes that you buy in the dead of winter, winter particularly here in New England, versus the one that you can pick out in your garden. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of like not even the same thing as far as I'm yeah, concerned. You remember they, that? They, yeah. They really aren't. You remember that they're, story I tell you about my, about my dad? My dad, he had a garden. Trust me, it, 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 when we were kids, it was like the bane of our existence because he would make us do the mulch. And he had a mulch pile out back and he was a fisherman. So he would throw fish bones and everything in this mulch pile. Also good. And he would make me and my brother, he'd go out there, we'd go dig, go dig the mulch for an hour. So we'd have to turn it, you know, to circulate it. But the guy yeah. had a garden. I mean, he had the greatest garden you ever seen because he had, I mean, there were clam shells he'd throw in there because he would awesome. also go clamming. But anyway, to your tomato story, he'd take a salt shaker, he put it in his pocket. He would walk out in the morning on Saturday to his garden. Literally, he had like regular tomatoes here and cherry tomatoes and he would pop them up off and he would put salt right on the tomato and he'd eat it in the garden and he yeah. would say, he would say there is nothing better than like that tomato when it comes right off the vine and like you said it's so just, it's like it's regular temperature it's not cold because they have they burst with flavor you can do that if you grow your own tomatoes you don't you know tomatoes don't just come from a store they they come from a from a plant <laughs> and look at the size of the plant that you're going to get this is yeah. a slam dunk deal when it comes to plants in this hour. If you want to grow tomatoes, but you've always been challenged, Rochelle, these are easier to grow than the regular tomatoes and your yes. results are going to be so much better. They really, really are. Uh, these are the, uh, this, this is again, back to that leaf and petal sort of thing that we're trying to achieve for you, making it easy and taking away all of the, the, the hard things that gardeners can struggle with. So having this grafted root stock with the heirloom on top, it just, uh, God, it just makes it easy. I can't wait to grow these because I saw these, uh, I saw these at one of my colleagues' house. They're huge. They're absolutely <laughs> huge. It's like uh, taller than I am, and I'm a tall person. Uh, of tomatoes yeah. grown in a pot. Like, that just is so exciting to I, me. I, I, I love taking one slice and having it fit on a slice of bread. 
I love that. It's so big that you only need and one slice. <laughs> these two tomatoes, particularly the delicious, are the ones that delicious get really, really big. Yeah. Um, bigger than the uh, than the other ones. That's what they're kind of known for. So if you're oh. really into that giant tomato, get the delicious. Love Love if you them. like Thanks. sweet, get the other one. Rochelle, you're amazing. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for calling and Skyping in on us from Boston. You take care of yourself. All right, thank you. You too. See Everybody you next time. Yourself. All right, hon. All right. Hey, everybody, if you're wondering how we know when to deliver, well, here's what we do. And you don't pay until they ship. So if you live in the northern half of the country, your plants, fruits, veggies, whatever, will come during your growing season, which is in the pinky red, which is around May, end of April. If you are in the middle of the country, you'll get them uh, in middle of April, beginning of April. If you're in the southern part of the country, like here in Florida, you'll get them right away, or Texas or California. That's how we, we know. Remember, annuals will ship a little bit later. Um, that's just the way annuals are, but the perennials will come at the time you see there. So, we were just growing tomatoes. Now, one of the challenges with tomatoes is not often the plant itself, but how the plant grows. As you know, tomatoes are not light. They are heavy, especially if you get good ones. And they are gonna start to lean left or right. Same with other fruits and veggies that you grow, right? Peppers, whatever it is. If you wanna grow them right, you need to get the fruit and veggie tower. That's what I'm telling you. I invested in this after I tried the cheap wire one that they had in the store and it just didn't work and it was hard to figure out. This is constructed in such a way that it is perfect. Whether you're putting flowers in here or if you're putting a fruits and vegetables in here, it's ideal. It is $24.95, innovative design, including the watering, easy to pick and control. You know, the thing about your plants is you want to be able to control them to help them grow. And that's what this does. Tom Wise is back with us. Got he's it. already trimmed all the branches. Now he's going to show us the best way to be able to grow your fruits and veggies. This is, this is brilliant. Brilliant, Tom. Guy, I love this. I am famous for not being able to grow many things, but I've grown both <laughs> these. And the, the problem is, is I never knew how much water to put on something. Right. And I typically would overwater a plant and that's a problem. Or if you go away for a couple of days, you go away for the weekend, you come back and the plants are dead. This is the solution. I love it. It's a self-watering tower that you could put. Here, I've got the banana peppers. Over here, I've got tomatoes. I bought these, they were a lot smaller. I used the spray and grow. I repotted them into the, uh, the self-watering tower. And now they're taken off. And all I do is just fill up this little hole here with water. When it gets to the top, I stop and the plant will now reach down and get the water that it wants. Self-wicking, it is absolutely brilliant how this works. All you do is just fill, put it together. It takes about 10 minutes to put it together. Then you fill it up with water and you forget about it. It's about a, about a half a gallon of water or so. Allow me to suggest that when you put dirt in there, have a little bit of organic material. Yeah. Get some leaves, uh, get some mulch and break it up because now you want, you want a loose base so those roots can reach down yeah. and get the water that they want that it desires. Let's show everybody the design itself and we'll, we'll take you from the bottom all the way up and show you how brilliant it is. Absolutely. Because I've tried the, the wire wicket ones. Yeah. They never seem to work. Well, th th it doesn't solve the problem for, of watering. Yeah. Tomatoes are super, super thirsty. This could be on the, piano, the uh, patio. This could be on a balcony. This could be on a condo. This could be on a ranch. This solves the problem you can move it to where the sun is you can rotate it yeah. you can take it from spot to spot you're gonna have fresh fruits and vegetables anytime you want because now you can just go ahead and plant them and uh, you, you're creating your own victory garden let me tell you what the key is all right you're gonna say why the hole on the bottom i'm used to watering right, right. from the top the key is inside here you've got some feet do you see those all right now i'll take this plate and i'll put them put the plate inside. So what I'm doing is I'm generating a gap, all right, of air, which I will also fill up with water, right? The water goes in here, goes in here, fills up the base, and now the plant reaches down and gets the water that it needs Perfect. on a regular basis. So you might have a plant that uses a little bit of water, you might have a plant that uses a lot, but it's gonna get the exact amount you know, that it needs every single day. And Tom, half the battle 
is the, is the container. Yes. It really is, which is why a lot of container plants are tougher to grow than if you put it out there in, in your regular garden. Uh, you know, I was just talking about mulch and all that stuff. When you, when you contain a plant, it only has what's in there, what you put right. in there. And if you, and, and, and if you don't manage it properly, you, you know, you're not going to get the results. This allows you to manage the water, Absolutely. manage the sun exposure, Absolutely. manage the growth as it Absolutely. rises up. It does everything. And it's $24. Well, what's nice about this, there aren't any holes in the bottom. All right. right. Sometimes when you've got a plant, and you want to move it from space to space. You want to rotate it because, or you, you know, just, you, you, or the, you have a mat and it ruins the floor. This does not have any holes in the bottom. The water simply goes inside the hole till you fill it up. The roots will extend into that water source and then take up as much water as it needs. It's actually brilliant. Look at these banana peppers. I grew. I started growing these about two weeks ago. It's insane. The tomatoes use a lot more water. I put in probably two gallons of water a day really? inside this because it's yeah. growing. This guy uses eh, about a quarter of a gallon, half wow. a gallon on a regular yeah. basis. Well, tomatoes I, produce a lot of fruit. If so. I had these in the garden, I'd be watering them the same, yeah. and I'd yeah. be making a huge mistake. I'd be drowning this, and this one would be too dry. Yeah. This it, it, solves, solves the problem. The the best way to manage uh, any of the crops that you're growing that bear fruit or veggies like yep. this. Ideally, obviously, we're talking about, you know, on your patio, on your porch. I love, see, here's the issue with me. I, listen, I, I wish I could be like my dad. I don't, I, you know, I don't have a giant property. And the way my yard is set up, I don't get a lot of sun in the backyard, so I couldn't do a garden there. I get sun on the deck. Right. And it's just me and Danny, my son. So it's like, I just need stuff for like basil and tomatoes and, and uh, you know, cilantro. I grow all that right on the deck and then the flowers and all that stuff. But I need to keep an eye on it. Yep. This is a way to keep an eye it's on it, perfect. to make sure that you're feeding it properly, watering it properly. And if you look at how it how it's contained, yep. as it grows taller, you know, the weight of the plant is not up top. Right. It's still down here. And a lot of the larger fruits will be down here. As you'll see, the fruits here are in the middle. Mm -hmm. The growth on the top is not what you need as much support for. And then you add the supports as the plant as you is go. growing. It's yeah. all vertical. Now, this is amazing. You're going to get vertical plants. This could be vines. This could be flowers. This could be something that has a little bit of fruit in it. It could be like a mini citrus uh, a tree. Yeah. This is ideal. You've solved the problem about watering. How much? Too much? Too little? This is going to be just right. And then you can take a couple Look of days nice off. Too. Look at how nice it looks on that porch. It's beautiful. Right? And it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Nice you can walk piece. out your front door and pick yourself a tomato, put it, eat it right there. Don't even bring it oh, in the it. house. It's just like your dad. Take a bite. Uh, bring the salt to shake you know it. Something? it. You know what, though? I, when I think of my dad, and he's, he's passed, but when I think about it, That's those, are the, those are the memories Absolutely. that I have of my father is loving life. Yes. And that is what we're all about, people. Can I tell you? This distresses the heck out of me. Yeah, I go outside. I, I, I spray the tomatoes with, yes. with spray and grow. I fill I, it up with the water. Don't I'm you, watching I hope grow. more people do stuff like yeah, this. Absolutely. You know, I love it. Maybe you never gardened before. I hope this show gets you out there gardening for the first time. You you do it at home. It's very rewarding. And when you sit there and look and you're eating something right off of something that you planted, yep. it's, a it's a real kind of a spiritual thing. It's really, really cool. And you can have that in your own home. Man, I appreciate you coming today. Guy, Pruner, it's always my pleasure. Tomato cage. I can't wait to get this oh, delivered this to my is, house. I've got some huge tomatoes on this. That's Amazing. Tom Wise, everybody. Thank you so much Thanks, for being guy. here, Mr. Tom. Hey, by the way, uh, listen, you know, I know we're going through all kinds of uh, 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 tough stuff. And uh, for everybody that's joining us at home uh, on the TV, we're all thinking about you during this really tough time. Um, whatever your situation, we, we do hope that you're taking the proper precautions. We've got a little something from the CDC that might help you along those lines. So take a little listen. We come back we got some more great stuff for you guys in the garden be right back why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus well we know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk but they've got to get it from somebody so we're asking everyone to be selfless for others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible not going to bars not going to restaurants it all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others for more information on how you can social distance, please go to coronavirus.gov. There is nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Sundays are for shopping and style here at HSN. Join me, Callie Northhagen, for all the latest in fashion, footwear, and accessories. Watch live on HSN or the HSN app.
way, this is the tool section of our two-hour Guy in the Garden show uh, because we realize a lot of you out there, it's springtime, you're doing a lot of cleanup, getting the yard organized, blowing off the deck, blowing off the sidewalks. You know what you need? You need one of these, guys. This is from Sun Joe, and I will tell you my all-time favorite blower for home use. Okay, you know, this is, you're not gonna go out and do 400 lawns with this like a landscaper, but you're gonna be able to handle your own property, 120 mile an hour wind, you'll be able to clean up everything lickety split. I love the fact that it's not corded because now I can just pick it up, even if you're cleaning out the kids' room, right? Hey, let me tell you, I, I brought the blower into Danny's room once in a while. You ever wanna wake your kids up in the morning, walk in there with a blower? They'll wake right up. And you can clear out anything, leaves, debris, lawn clippings for your sidewalks, your beds, your deck, your dry driveway. It is a perfect quick cleanup. Sun Joe's awesome. They gave us a 20 volt. That means 120 mile an hour winds. Not only that, they give you a two year warranty. Most uh, uh, companies that supply these do not give you a warranty like that. My man, Justin Hyatt is standing over there at a safe distance for all you out there. This thing is awesome. First of all, I love the, I love the feel in the hand, right? It's perfectly balanced. It weighs yes. a little over three pounds. And this is the easiest quick grab and go blower that I have at the home. And you said it, guy, this isn't the most powerful blower that you're gonna get, and that's actually why I love it. Because if you wanna just be able to clear off the desk, the, uh, the decks, the patios, the furniture, whatever it is, and not have to worry about it just being overpowering, you can take care of all of those leaves I just, you know what, we've been stuck inside, right? I've been taking a lot of this time to kind of revamp my whole entire side patio. Yeah. I have become so anal about every single day. If there's just a few leaves out there, yeah. what I do, I just come out there and I just blow it all off. And it's simple and easy to completely recharge. You pop it in, it takes a little over an hour to recharge it from yeah. dead to uh, completely full. You, you know what I love too? You get a full, you get a full 20 minutes of, of runtime, about yeah. 18 to 20 minutes of runtime, which is way more than you need because remember again, we're not professional landscapers. We don't need to be doing this eight hours a day. This is when you get up on a Saturday and you notice that maybe the neighbor blew some of his leaves into your yard. So you wanna return the favor and yeah. blow them back over to that yard. Or you just wanna clean off the lawn <laughs> clippings after you've trimmed the grass. Just right? toss it over the fence. Actually, you know what, for me, it's my neighbor's tree. I mean, it was literally, I, I, my whole entire side patio was completely covered in leaves. And it is that time. It's, it, it, it doesn't feel like it, but it is that spring cleanup time. This is gonna be the easiest blower for you to basically not only have, but be able, be able to just kind of store anywhere you want. It's small, it's compact, it's lightweight, and 20 minutes is gonna last you a long time. I've used mine maybe once a day, and I still haven't recharged it for the whole week. If yeah. you have a big bulk, of course, you're gonna get it all done, you're gonna put it all together. It's not gonna blow it everywhere, you can actually kinda aim it and angle it to where you want to, so you can put it into a nice pile. This, this, how much does this thing weigh? A little over three pounds. I mean, it's, it's three it. pounds in your hand. This is ideal, maybe for your mom and dad or your grandparents, you know, they, they can't use the big heavy industrial mower, and not only that, or a blower. Listen, there are great blowers on the market. You gotta put gas in them. The big right. industrial, you know, the one you gotta carry around this way. Yep. Or There's, you put it on your back like I it's a bought, jet pack. I used to own a jet pack one when I lived in Connecticut. Yeah. 600 bucks. 600 bucks. <laughs> $600. And you gotta put gas in it. And it's more than what you need and sometimes. And it's hot to wear it on your back. Have you ever worn one of those? Oh, oh yeah. man, I, did, I actually, I, I did landscape it for a full yeah, year. Yeah, I did too. Got yeah. my first car out of it. But I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than having to do that when it's yeah. 100 degrees out and you're having to smell gas and fumes. And it's loud. There's no gas, there's yeah. no fumes. You have to have earplugs in when you're doing totally. that thing. And what's great about this, it, it, you know, when it comes to lawn and garden, there was always, it was always ruled by gas, right? Now yeah. we have electric, but now electric Electric has split into two because now you don't have to plug anything in. This is completely tether free. If you're just cut the cord on everything, cut the cord on your garden tools too. And we're just showing you the patio. I love the fact that we would keep talking, it's not overpowering because it's not gonna blow those cushions back to Timbuktu right. on your patio furniture. We, we have the little pergola that I'm gonna walk over to in just a second. But this is something you can control and you can aim all of those leaves and debris. It could be pollen, leaves, branches, whatever it is, you can take care of it real quick. You know, and, and again, I, I, what I wanna emphasize to everybody out there is the fact that you can handle this. Like with our, well, we've got a pole saw coming up. Yeah. I am so excited about that, that pole thing saw. Is awesome. You know why? It's cordless. When, and Completely you know what's weird? When you know when you do when you add cordless and battery power, the technology is much more expensive. Oh, 100%. we're doing one for seventy nine bucks today. That, that's coming up. I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping the gun, but I'm excited about yeah. that. But if you get this and you get the pole saw and maybe the pruner, 
You got all the tools you need to get that garden, that yard ready to go. Yeah, th well this is basically, you know, the blower's all about maintenance, right? This right. Is, we call it a blower slash sweeper because what are you doing? You're not having to grab that broom and rake all the time. You can finally take care of those leaves that are in the grass, that are on the deck, the patio. You can bring this up and down all the way, you know, on the other end of your yard and have to worry about that cable. And if you want to just be able to take care of everything, it's just enough power, 120 miles per hour. And then I love, again, you see those cushions? They're staying put. I don't have to worry about, well, <laughs> things popping off. There's so much power, it blew off the tube. <laughs> snap it back on. Don't worry. It's it, right here. Yeah, it's right back. back on. I wanted to mention, too, one, one thing that's really cool when you're done with it, not only is it small and compact, yeah. it even give you a little hook. So you can put this in the garage. Great for all the leaves. Recharging it. Yeah. yeah and re you put you hang it up on the in the garage and then you, you recharge the battery. It's simple and easy. All right, if you want one today, it's only $59. If you get a brand new HSN credit card, we can put $20 in your account for you, which you will get. And you can make that $39. Uh, it's a great way to be able to get it. Everything is on five flex in our garden show. So these are the kinds of, you know, thank goodness for stuff like this. Right. Because I tell you, you know, I, 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 Danny walked out of the house. My son, Danny, walks out of the house. I said, where are you going? He goes, I'm just going to walk to the beach. <laughs> I said, why? He goes, I just want to see if there's any people around. We're, you know, we're, we're getting, we're, we're starting to get a really antsy and we need we things are. to do. Be constructive and work around the house. It's the best you can do. Get your kids to help you, your grandkids. Most kids that were in college, like my son, are home mm -hmm. and they're doing their studies from home. Yep. Put a blower in their head. Trust me, you give this to an 18-year-old kid, he'll sit out there for the whole 20 minutes. Oh, 100%. Because he'll be like, Dad, this thing's actually really cool. It's therapeutic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You just said it. it, it this is all about DIY, but especially nowadays, right now, it makes us think about doing stuff ourselves even more. And if you've been looking up ways to be able to spruce up, to clean everything, to keep Keep your home looking maintenance, especially with maybe sometimes some of those lawn care companies maybe aren't coming around right now. Yeah. This is an easy way to do that and moving forward. And when the in-between times that they're not there, you can still be able to clean up, especially if you got family or friends coming hey. over. Well, of course, when this is all said yeah. and done. And by the way, if you need more time, because like we said the battery's about 20 minutes. If you want an extra battery to have as a backup, which isn't a bad idea, we have those available uh, on uh, hsn.com and you can see the little charging thing right there which is available, I think the item is 712207. Yeah, I read it right, that's a long yep. ways away. I'm not as blind as I thought I was. Um, but anyway, you, you can grab a little backup battery if you've got, well, if you've got a really huge property. Yeah. But honestly, like I said, this is really made for, it's ideal if you've got a patio or a deck, if yeah. you cut your own grass and you want it to clean it up, um, and, and, and 20 minutes is all you need, you're gonna be good to go. I have, I've, I've got a blower very similar to this. Yep. I think I may have the Sun Joe. I actually bought mine from the home store a while back before yep. we brought them in. And I mean, I'm, I'm out there for 10 minutes. I've, yeah. never, I've never run out of power. No, I mean, if you're doing the big bulk cleanup, then you're yeah. done. Then it's just all about hey, maintenance. will you show everybody the little battery thing on the back? Yeah, so this is all battery operated. Again, this is completely tether free. This is the lithium ion plus from Sun Joe. It's really simple and easy to attach it. I want to show you there's even a little meter right here. You push that button. I know it's hard to see right now in the, during the day, but there's a little meter right here. You can actually see how much battery life you have left. You pop this off and then you can start recharging it in just a second. The cool thing about Sun Joe is, is that you can even see, you can use this exact battery with a lot of the other garden tools that we even offer on .com. If it's 20 volt battery, you can use it simultaneously. So if you have extra batteries, pop it right on here and you can use that. But the best part is it just eliminates that extra step of having yeah. to grab the extension well, cord, plug right. it in, plug it into this and not have to worry about it getting caught hey, on stuff. And listen, the ones that are powered by a cord, first of all, you do have to have the cord and you need an extension cord. They're extension never, cord. They don't come with an extension cord. No. The cord is like a foot and a half long. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, if you're lucky, <laughs> maybe, maybe a foot long, yeah. probably less than that. So with this, you don't need anything. You plug it in, you pop in the battery pack, you go out and do your job for 15 or 20 minutes, put it back on the charger and you're good to go. I love things like this because, you know, in the old days, the only people that had blowers were professional landscapers <laughs> and you were the envy of the neighborhood if you yep. got one of the, the, you know, the big industrial corded ones. The corded ones, I've, I've seen the big ones, they're, they're $150, $179. Easily. Really, and you gotta buy a cord to go with it and they're way more than you need. This is, this is for cleaning up around your house, right? You're not, unless you're making a living as a landscaper, in which case you're gonna buy the big industrial one. Mm -hmm. But this is perfect for you. Yeah, if you're a, if you have a, if you're a homeowner and you don't have necessarily a huge lawn, if you want to just continue to keep it maintenance and keep it clean and making it look great, this is the best and easiest way, especially even if it's not leaves, if it's the pollen, if it's the dirt, it's the leaves that's on your deck and patio and your patio furniture, this is going to be awesome for you. You're going to love it.
So I'm telling you, I, I use this every single day, probably once a day. I just finally got everything cleaned up. And the worst part about it for me is I have turf on my side patio. So any leaf that falls on there just stands out like a goldfish in a, in, a, in a pond. Okay, this thing makes everything look pristine and clean. It's easy grab and go. You don't have to grab that extension cord, completely battery. I operated. get one of these, you're gonna love it. It's very empowering. I love having a blower out. I'm like, oh, look at me. I'm gonna carry this around all day. Oh, dude, it's a lot of fun. And you know what, get your kids to help you out. You're looking for chores for them to do. Get one of these when yep. the grandkids come over, put it in their hand. It's easy, they can't hurt themselves. Uh, nothing to plug in, you're gonna love it. $59.99 is your price. The item is 712196. You know what's coming up next? I do. Cordless chainsaw. Let's do it. I am all about that cordless <laughs> chainsaw. Awesome. Hey, I want to remind you also about our customer service. If you have any questions, we have a page right there where you can go on hsn.com and look up customer service. There's a thing called Q&A, uh, frequently, or FAQ, excuse me, frequently asked questions, where a lot of people have the same question you do. So no, more often than not, your questions are already answered right then and there. But if you should have any questions, please feel free to visit hsn.com. Scroll through, check it out. Lots of answers, everything you need. All right, please stick around. The incredible, the amazing cordless chainsaw. Coming up. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Shopping is easier than ever with the HSN app. Turn on notifications to get shipping updates, exclusive offers, and alerts on your favorite products sent straight to your phone. Now you can share all your fabulous finds with your friends right from the app through Facebook, text, and more. Save your favorite products all in one place. See it, heart it, save it. Download the app for Apple or Android devices by searching HSN app on hsn.com. amazing tool. I love this. I've had a pole saw for about four or five years. Mine's got the cord. I'll be honest, the cord's a pain. I mean, I love it. It's great. I use it all the time. Cord's a little bit of a pain because you got to run a huge extension cord when you go out in the back of my property. And I don't live in that big of a place. This is my pick of the hour. I have, I have, I'll tell you, we do not bring, I can't remember the last time we brought a cordless pole saw to the, to the network and I'm excited about it, let alone 79 instead of 179, because normally these guys are expensive. The technology for cordless is super expensive. Not today. Comes to you from a company called Sunjo. Love this company. Great, great stuff for home and garden. Uh, all kinds of cool power tools. 79.99 is our discounted price. Uh, it's got, it's on FlexPay, 5 Flex, everything. Love this. Why? Well, listen, spring is here. You got a lot of down branches, things hanging over your yard, a lot of things that you need to be trimmed up. And even though we had that wonderful pruner, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut through things that are this big or that big or that big. This will. Best part, no gas, nothing to deal with, no, no plugs to plug in, no fumes, no, no bad stuff for the environment. It's not a combustion type engine. It runs on battery power, which is supplied from the battery pack, which we give you. If you get this, you will empower yourself to be able to trim around the home. I use this on the palm trees because some of those fronds are really big. I can shave up and down the tree. You have extra reach because this is a telescopic pole. So you never ever want to get on a ladder with any power tool, let alone a chainsaw. Yeah. You don't have to with this and it'll get through anything. It's got that Oregon bar and chain eight inch so it'll, it'll hit the, the, the bigger logs and the smaller ones and you never have to get in harm's way. Grab this already, almost four dozen people ordered it before we even got to it just from promoting it. This is a great tool to have. It's a safer tool than the combustion engine type. 
Uh, you're not going to have to worry about pull starting it and all that other stuff. Justin is back. He's going to take you on a little tour. And let me just say this. If ladies out there, you can handle this. What does it weigh? It weighs uh, less, uh, like nine pounds. Nine pounds, a little, nine less, pa than a little less than nine pounds. A little less than nine pounds, that's it. It's completely battery, battery operated. If you're walking around a tree, last thing you want is something tethered behind you. You have to worry about completely walking right. around. The pull saw, the benefit to that, of course, is the guy just said, you don't have to get on a ladder anymore. You can reach all of those low hanging branches. Maybe they're dead branches. Maybe they're just time if you start doing the pruning. And the benefit of pruning is to get rid of that overgrowth so you can get some new growth to those trees. So the sun can reach the new healthy leaves and branches. That's the benefit to this. And of course, it's spring cleanup. We want to start sprucing everything up. It could be bushes, hedges, whatever it is. This is battery operated. It's 20 volt battery operation. You can recharge this 30 to 40 minutes of runtime that's it and the best part about it easy to telescope to uh, about 15 extra feet. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. You reach anything. Almost came out of the camera. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if we want to reach anything high, and for me, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, I can reach all the way up here and still have enough power to chop and get all of those branches. That is awesome. <laughs> now remember, on a real tree, it's not going to be shaken. Like we have, we have our yeah. little fake tree here. This is when you get out and you have a substantial tree, you know, obviously the whole thing yeah. kind of moves, but it's not going to happen. You're going to get those great results every single mm -hmm. time. We'll show you actually in front of us yeah. where we have a more controlled environment, how this will cut through even even pretty good sized diameter limbs and logs. Well, if you're looking at this right now, I mean, I think this is probably about three inches. Maybe more. Yeah. Maybe more. Yep. This is easy. And the good thing too, as you can see, although this is a pole saw, I can keep keep a good safe distance. So I can still go ahead and chop through this. And you can see, I still have enough power to get through that log. And of course, this is moving too, but There boom. you go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, honestly, it is such an easy job. I think most people, when they think of chainsaw, they think of the guys that are coming in the truck yeah. with a big industrial saw. This is not like that. This is not scary. This is not gonna freak out. This is an easier way to cut larger limbs. And you see the size of the ones that we're cutting there, but most people will use this to do the one or two inch limbs that are hanging maybe over the carport, yeah. over the driveway, right? And you can see, I love the fact, most of the people using this are ladies in her shot because we want you to know it's something you can handle. And boy, when it comes to trying to use a regular handsaw, first of all, you'd never do that. You'd have to get on a ladder, which we tell you yeah. not to do. This makes life so much easier to be able to do it. Well, yep. you're talking about those palm fronds? Yeah, that's just crazy. This was what I was always sent out with. I was like, all right, take, yeah. care, take care of those coconuts and take care of the palm fronds. And you gotta reach up there and you basically, you're just sitting there and you're sawing it off and you're standing right underneath it. This yeah. is the other alternative. And then you can grab this. I mean, it's just easy. This does the work for you. And it's not something like you said, it's for a lot of the women out there who want to be able to do it themselves. And this yeah. is something that's going to totally empower you to be able to do it yourself because it's not overpowering and it's not too heavy. And let me emphasize again, we, we don't, you know, we can't cut down trees here. Okay, we're, we're, we set up <laughs> cutting demos and, and like, and I'm just telling you, calling it exactly like it is. Like this is not bolted down. Yeah. So that's why this, the, it's actually this that's moving, not the chainsaw. <laughs> so don't be worried about that. You've got 90 days because we're, we extended our warranty yep. to 90 days to be able to use this. When you're out there doing trees, the tree will be stable and the branch will come down easier. And these are all live shots. Not only that, we give you 90 days to return it. Sun Joe, Two-year two warranty, two year warranty on a pole saw. You'll never have to buy gas. You'll never have to worry about any kind of, the only thing you need to pick up is you need to get a little bit of oil. Uh, it's yep. called chainsaw oil. And I'm telling you, the chainsaw oil just lubricates the chain and it, and it keeps the chain sm sm running smoothly. It is ideal. $79 is your price. Hey, Kevin, let's pop up the $20 gift card. Or not gift card. You know, I can always call it a gift card. I got to get over that. It's a twenty dollars deposit into your account when you open up a brand new uh, account, and we'll give you that so you can get this for fifty nine dollars. Try it out. You got thirty, sixty, ninety days. You could use it all the way through practically the middle of summer. Get everything cleaned up, and if you think you love it now, because it's you know it's clean up now. Yeah. Wait till you do your fall cleanup. Yeah. Fall cleanup is great because I actually I actually have a wood burning fireplace in my house, believe it or not, and I I could actually get out there and cut my own wood, which I love to do. You know, smaller logs and branches. You could do that. I used mine last week, and uh, and this is a true story. 
they're building a house down the street from a house and they have a big bin outside and they're putting all their old pieces of, of lumber there. Yeah. Not the cured lumber because you don't want to use that in the fireplace, but the regular lumber. I go out there and I, I must have gotten like four four by fours that were this big and a bunch of two by fours just all beat up. Yeah. Brought them out my side yard, cut them up into little logs. There you go. It, and I mean, like, I never even thought of doing that. And here in Florida, palm trees, you know, you get those nice clean sides. Yep. You just shave up and down on the sides. It's ideal. So what do you, even if you're doing hedges, you know, real substantial yep. hedges or you need to trim. Like if you look at these trees over here, we could probably, if we wanted to sculpt this, we could take all the branches off the bottom and just leave them on top. Yeah. And you could create your own, whatever those things are called. Yeah, whatever. You know, what are they called? That's what they call. Whatever like they think they're called. Arborarium or what, what are those things called? <laughs> what are they? Well, oh, we yeah, like arboretum. Them. But what do they call the, the plants that they carve into animals? Topiaries. Took me a while. It was there. It was up there. It was, there. It was up there. Was I wouldn't have had that one. But, but you, you could do it. Well, you, yep. topiaries, you're going to use the hedger. But you're going to, just to do your initial sculpting, you could do that. So. Hugely popular. I knew it would be. We made it our pick in this show. And you know, it's tough to find a really solid, good battery powered chainsaw. Yeah, totally. I mean, if you're looking for a chainsaw, if you're looking for a pole saw, and if you're thinking gas to electric, when we think of electric, we always think of Corded. This is completely cordless, still gives you enough power to get all of those jobs done, but it's from Sun Joe. Sun Joe has really done a great job of, yeah. they started off as Snow Joe, and what the main goal was to basically give you as much garden and lawn tools, whether it's through the winter, the spring, the summer, to get all of those things done and get it done easily. And that's why you're getting it done with the Sun Joe, because it's completely battery operated. There's nothing you have to plug in, and you still get 30 to 40 minutes of cutting time. Yeah, so if you want to make sure you're looking, <clears throat> keeping up with the Joneses, when you're walking around or driving around the neighborhoods right now, you're seeing, wow, that, that the, 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 the ter what was it? Not terrarium, the, uh, Arboretum? Arbor Arboretum. Or the topiaries. The topiaries. <laughs> Your topiaries are looking very topy. Uh, yeah, they're beautiful. Okay, you want to make sure that you have the right tools. Sun Joe gives you the right tools. And remember, when you're using a pole saw, let the weight of the head of the pole saw do the work. You don't need to push. When you hold it up there, let it lean on a branch. Its natural weight will take that will take that um, branch off, okay? You don't need to, you don't have to push it down. And another nice thing is you're never really, you're never close to the blades. You're, uh, even when you have it all the way packed in, you know, when it's not extended, you're still a few feet away from the blade so that, that you have that safety element that goes in. There's safety uh, features built into the trigger. You have to hit two buttons at the same time, safe around kids. Uh, I always uh, tell people, take the battery out when you're not using it. Never leave it in the gr shed or garage with the battery on it, just in case some kid goes in there and grabs it and hits both buttons at the same time. Take the battery out. You should be charging it anyway, but get yourself a chainsaw. It, I mean, honestly, I never owned one until I bought one here about four or five years ago. And then I used it and I'm like, where has this been? This is perfect. Cause I didn't need, and trust me, I, there was a hurricane, or not a hurricane, but a, a borderline hurricane in Tennessee many years ago. Uh, my ex-girlfriend lived up there and I was helping her dad take down trees cause they had fallen on the barn that he had. That chainsaw was like, I mean, that was a monster chainsaw. Gas, we're starting them. They were turning on and off. You don't have to do that with this. You have two buttons. You don't even have to plug it in. You don't even have to look for an outlet. And you can take it anywhere around your property, free to roam without being tethered to a cord. Yeah, completely free. And you know what? You're also free of a ladder. Who wants to get on a ladder with a cord or who wants to get on a ladder with a chainsaw? This is something that's made specifically for you to be able to reach all of those hard to reach places. If it's up high, if it's just too far for you to reach, or even if it's down low, if you chop some of those branches down, you can see you can still cut them as they're on the ground. So maybe it makes it easier for you to take to the front for them to be able to go ahead and dispose of it and the garbage can, uh, company can come and dispose of it as well. But this is something you can turn into logs. You can get creative and it is not just for those low hanging branches. It's for the high hanging. It's for those br the, the bushes. It's for all of those ways that you want to clean up your yard and do it yourself. We mentioned it earlier. And a lot of us don't maybe necessarily, we want to be able to do it ourselves right yeah. now. It kind of makes you think about DIY. <laughs> this is a great DIY tool for you to be able to do all of those hard to reach Yeah, jobs. and if any, if you were ever afraid before, and listen, you may get it home and say, no, it's, I'm still, it still scares me a little bit, return it. You got 90 days to, to turn this back. But I want you to at least give yourself the chance to try one. I know it looks like, oh, it might, it's a chainsaw. Don't be afraid. It's not like the traditional chainsaws on the market that are gas powered. All right, those are big, giant machines that you have to have maintenance. They need cleaning. You gotta put mixed gas and all that. You gotta do all that. You don't do that with this. Take it out of the box, okay? Takes a, a few minutes to put it together, all right? Because the chain is separate. Just put the chain on. You'll see it's very easy. I've done it three times. 
all right? Uh, because I've, I've tightened the chain before, it's easy. And get out there and, and use it. No, no plugs, nothing, just try it. If, in the, if then you say, well, it's a little too much for me, then you can return it, but try it. Because what you gain from this is huge in the amount of things you can do around the yard. A hundred percent. I mean, if you think about one tool that can do a lot of things, it's gonna be a chainsaw, whether it is cutting just about anything that you got. And it could be, could be the wood that you pick it up from the neighbors. It could be the wood that you're yeah. making now. It could be cutting all those high to re, uh, branches and those hedges. And it's just the simplicity of it. Who wants to worry about cold starts, having to make sure that I'm yanking and pulling something that's heavy. I'm gonna have to smell gas, something that's shaking. This oh, is yeah. on right now. Yeah, and you right? know what else? Until, uh, and then, and your and your, and your storage area won't smell like gas either. And, and you don't have to store <laughs> gas. Exactly. Right. You don't need to deal with it. Hey, if you wanted it, seventy nine ninety nine. It's a great deal for cordless because they're usually much more expensive. Great job, my friend. Thank you. So glad you joined us today. Appreciate you coming in. Yep. Appreciate all of you obviously shopping with us today. We got one last little quick special night. So dang adorable. We had to put it in the show. What is this? The bunny. This is the bunny planter. It's made of the cocoa, natural cocoa fiber. It's a bunny planter. If that's not Happy Easter, I don't know what is. Uh, put whatever you want. How adorable is that? Come on, you need that. It's 1995. Get it for uh, Easter. Get it for Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever it is that you want to get it for, but you'll love it. Uh, 690807 is the item number if you'd like to uh, pick that up. Um, I know that the lovely Alice is coming your way next. She's going to take you on from here. Hey, guys. What? You've got mail. Oh, hey, look. Tiny Torres. Look, there he is. Nice job today, buddy. Very quiet. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for shopping with me. I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early, 7 to 9 on Now That's Clever with me. Here's something that's clever. Stick around and join this lovely lady. See you tomorrow. What?